the FTX founder is reportedly on its way to the US. Will he get out on bail today? Is Shiba Inu now taking off to the moon? More info about that and so much more after the intro. Let's start off directly with the market overview. The Ethereum dominance is 18.3%, the Bitcoin dominance is 40%. The Ethereum price is today 1216 USD, Bitcoin is trading at 16851 USD. The fear and greed index is now at 28, so it is that is fear. Please keep in mind that my videos do not contain any financial advice. They only serve for informational and entertainment purposes. After the news, I'm going to show you some interesting insights on different coins and tokens that are currently trending, so make sure to watch the video until the end. Market Situation Many investors on the crypto market are still waiting for the Santa Claus rally to happen, and they believe that if this rally is not going to take place, then this might also have consequences for the next year 2023, where we could have a sideways trend or even market with a downward trend. What is definitely positive is that according to Glassnode, the Bitcoin held by traders in the retail section has increased to 17% this year, which is a good sign even though the Bitcoin price is currently down by 75% from its all-time high. Retail traders are by the way here classified as such when they have less than 10 BTC. There are so many news again that we are directly jumping into it now. FTX News the former executive of FTX, Gary Wang, and the former executive of Alameda Research, Caroline Allison, have both pleaded guilty to federal fraud charges and are willing to cooperate with the Justice Department regarding the investigations around the FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried. The United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, Damien Williams, also confirmed that Sam Bankman-Fried is now on the way back to the United States. He reportedly wanted to speed up the process of the extradition, which could have taken several weeks, as he is trying to be responsible for the customers of FTX. Bankman Fried might already see himself in front of a judge in the US today. There is the possibility that he is granted bail. If not, he could go to jail until further notice. Damien Williams also stated regarding other people and parties involved in the whole case, quote, Now is the time to get ahead of it. We are moving quickly and our patience is not eternal." Unquote. Meanwhile, the company FTX is working on getting back with reportedly $720 million in cash assets. According to the company itself, they are doing their best to bring back the funds of the customers, which is not that easy because the majority of the funds are controlled by the US Department of Justice. Some of the funds are also locked in Japan. The new chief financial officer, Mary Celia, said in this context, Quote, we are reaching out to all of those banks and changing the signatories on the accounts so that we can get access to the accounts and move the cash as much as we can to authorize depository institutions. Unquote. New CEO for Twitter It was a Musk move again. He started a poll on Twitter asking the users whether he is supposed to step down or stay in his role as CEO for Twitter. And the result was yes. 57% of the 17 million users that participated want him to resign. Musk said that he will abide by the results as soon as he finds another person that is able and willing to take over its role as CEO. Meanwhile, Twitter added an interesting feature, a price chart support for several stocks and assets, like for example Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is possible for the users now to search for these assets with a dollar sign before the symbol, see the prices and the users can then over a link to Robinhood connect their wallet and do their trading for example. Now the Dogecoin investors are wondering why Musk is not saying anything new about Dogecoin and Twitter anymore. After the news of Musk resigning as CEO, the Doge price has dropped a bit. The reason that he might also not promote Doge anymore might also be the lawsuit against him saying he used the pyramid scheme for supporting Doge. Core Scientific files for bankruptcy Core Scientific, one of the biggest mining companies in the United States, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in Texas. This is likely associated with the ongoing crypto winter, the effects of the FTX fallout and the low Bitcoin price. Moreover, the mining difficulty was only 3.5% lower than its all-time high, which in combination with the low Bitcoin price is hard for the mining companies. According to Yahoo Finance, 
The cash flow over 12 months is positive, but obviously not enough to pay the debts, which are majority due to the leasing of mining equipment. Core Scientific's plan is though to carry on with the business and to avoid the liquidation. Other competitors like Northern Data or Riot Blockchain are also reporting lower revenues. Shibarium launch. Under the alias, Shaitoshi Kusama, the lead developer for Shiba Inu, stated on Telegram that the beta testing for the Shibarium protocol won't take much longer to start. It has been awaited for quite some time and the community seems to be getting more and more dissatisfied because it was reportedly announced to start in September this year, but that plan obviously didn't work. So it is now expected to start in the first quarter of 2023 and this might be also the start of a rally for the SHIB token. The goal of this Layer 2 launch is to improve the scalability and the transaction speed. Due to the fact that the launch will lead to a new dimension with a burn to prevent congestion, analysts expect the price to go up massively, hoping that the SHIB token will reach the $10 cents. We will see whether this goal is realistic. I will definitely keep you updated on this topic. Short news The crypto exchange Binance has been criticized in the last time for its proof of reserves report. Many customers took off their funds from Binance around $7 billion in three days, so the question regarding the financial health of the exchange increasingly came to the surface. The US Department of Justice and other authorities are also conducting investigations regarding Binance and its operations. Now at the beginning of the week, Binance announced the around $1 billion purchase of assets of Voyager Digital and also acquired the Indonesian exchange Tokyo Crypto probably also trying to show off to everyone that it is financially stable. The California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation has determined that the crypto lending platform MyConstant is not allowed to offer several products anymore, stating that they might violate state securities laws. And this comes during a time where the company is already struggling. Only a month ago it had announced that due to the current market conditions, it was, quote, unable to continue to operate our business as usual, unquote. After the sanctions against Russia, the country has decided to rely on digital currencies in order to strengthen its economy. Russia now revealed that it is looking for opportunities to use Bitcoin and crypto in cross-border payments. Moreover, in January 2023, crypto mining and the sale of the mine cryptos will be legalized. But the usage of cryptocurrencies is only allowed for, quote, authorized organizations, unquote. Coins of the day. Now let's talk about the best three of the top 200 cryptocurrencies that have performed best in the last 24 hours, according to CoinGecko. OKC is number one. This cryptocurrency has made 7% in the last 24 hours. Number 2 is Terra Luna Classic with 6.3% and Tokenize Exchange ranks number 3 with 4.1%. I am now going to introduce OKC. OKC is according to their own website an EVM compatible blockchain based on Tendermint and the DPoS consensus. Regarding contract interactions, it can reach up to 5000 transactions per second and that at very low fees. According to the developers, they had a special focus on security. Therefore, they built a decentralized architecture with a powerful data analysis tool and they have a contract audit service in place. Today, the OKC token trades at 26.01 USD and the highest price was 250.53 in May 2021. The lowest price was 13.02 USD in July 2022. Twitter post of the day. Let's have a look at the Twitter post of the day of Edgy the DeFi Edge. 90% of crypto success is being able to manage your own emotions. This means taking profits when everyone's dreaming about Lambos, feeling FOMO but sticking to your systems, not selling at the first signs of FUD, so many people are incentivized to manipulate your emotions. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to support me. Down there you can also find my playlist with interesting videos about coin developments over time.